I just wanted to go to Psalm 100 where Brother Peter went. It says, uh, Shout with joy to the Lord all the earth, and come before him singing with joy. Acknowledge that the Lord is God, and he made us, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. You know, when he said he made us and we are his, it's such a strong, uh, it's such a strong sentence. It's like my father, when he's going to talk with his brother and sister, he's going to say, this is my daughter. This is my son. This is my wife. So God is saying, um, we are his people and uh, we are his which means that we have such a great place in the heart of of god mm -hmm. of jesus and the holy spirit really loves us a lot so we should not take that for granted because we are very blessed um i used to read the bible when before the old testament it's the high priest who has to come he has to cut gold he has to uh, uh, like with the blood first and then enter the most high place after cleaning his own sin but even this blood is only for a short time and it's only once a year that the holy priest can enter the holy, uh, the, the holy place for God so we are so blessed that today we can go in front of God we can go in front of Jesus anytime anything anytime any you know, there's no specific timing that God said we can come to Him. In fact, He tells you all the day to praise Him, all the day, give Him all the details of your life. So we are very blessed, first of all, to have Jesus in our life for cleansing our sin. And now we don't need to go to a high priest anymore. We are the high priest. Amen. 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 So we praise the Lord for this. Um, so it's really wonderful to have Jesus as our Father. He is the omnipotent, the omnipresent, and He will always be with us, whatever may happen. Amen. Amen. So my message today, I was actually the other day, like last week, I was putting my makeup, and then I heard the Holy Spirit telling me, we don't have time to hate. You know, it comes so vivid that you know, I was putting my makeup and I just heard we don't have time to hate. So my message was that we don't have time to waste at all. We have a mission to do for God. Uh, what whoever has done us has hurt us, let's just forgive it and move on. Because we have better things to do. Time is moving fast. The resurrection is very close. So we don't have time to think of people that has hurt us because we have something more important. We have million, billion of people around the world that need to know about Jesus. Mm -hmm. And every day, our days are numbered, as the Bible says. So when we wake up every day, you just say, God ordain my step, let every Thing that I do be in accordance to your will, to your way, guide me to the right person, let me do your word, bring me people that I can tell about your gospel today. So this is what the Lord has put in my heart last week. So whatever situation we may be facing, we have our own need, I know that. But God said, do not waste our time thinking of our problem. Because God in the Bible say, I give you a command not to worry, not to fear. I know sometimes it comes so strong, you know, that you can't control it. But it's good also to have brother and sister around you, which know the Lord. If you have any fear in your heart, you go to this brother and sister. The fellowship, that's why God said fellowship is so important. Because as much as we pray, as much as we are in God, there are times that we are scared. There are times that we are confused in our mind. Because know that when God talks with you, Satan will talk with you also. Sometimes you are just confused. Amen? Mm -hmm. So let's not waste our time. Let's 
um, let's continue to, to do the mission of God. Let's love people around us. Sometimes we say we are Christian. We should love only Christian. That's false. I will take my example. I come from a Hindu family. And if people from Christian people wouldn't love me and pray for me, I wouldn't be born again today. Mm -hmm. So that's why for me, I believe whether you are Muslim, you are Catholic, you are Hindu, you are everything, if people like us has got the chance to know the Most High God, God wants to use us for these people to know Him. Okay, we are not that special. We are special in a way, but God loves them the same way that He loves us. But what I want to go, when we go to Moses, uh, we go to Moses, um, Exodus 33, verse 15. It says something. Moses is telling God, if you don't personally go with us, don't make us leave this place. Amen? Mm -hmm. How will anyone know that you look favorably on me, on me and on your people, if you don't go with us, Lord, for your presence among us, set your people and me apart from all other people on the earth. Though God loved everybody the same, Amen. Mm -hmm. But we, because we believe in Him, we have His presence, and that's why we are we have the favor of God. In a way, we are very important for God. We are very special for God. So, because we have the grace of mercy of God, to have that privilege to be the son and daughter of of God, we have to share this love to other people. Because many people don't know God yet. They need us, our love. They need our support. I know sometimes it's difficult. People hurt us, it's jealous. This, but as I'm saying, God said we don't have time to be jealous. We don't have time to be hurt all the time. We need to just move on, move on and go. We need to trust God for everything. Whatever happens every day, it's for a purpose. Sometimes I want to meet someone, my mother, my father, but then I meet other people that I don't want to see. So you see, it's because God preordained it. Amen. Mm -hmm. God wants you to meet these people, to show them love, to show them that, uh, to represent Jesus. You represent Jesus on earth. Amen. So you need to spend time on prayers. You need to, when we go in the presence of God, we tell God, you know, like God took Moses on the, on the mountain and then the cloud covered Moses. So when you go in the presence of God, tell God cover you with his cloud, with his presence. Amen. And you know, when you go and you come out from the presence of God, your face will light so much that even your enemy would be scared to, to touch you. Amen? Amen. So, just, just be assured that we have a wonderful God who loves us. Amen. 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 So, also, there's another thing. I know sometimes, if people does, a, does us bad, we want to gossip about them. We want to tell bad things about them. I have that all the time. I want to say, you know, tell him off. You know, tell everybody this, this, this is happening. But... The thing is, God is saying, it's just a test of our faith. Because God said, I am the one who will go in front of you. I am the one who will judge, you, judge them. If you go in the Bible, it's going, it says, your enemies would be my enemies if you follow my command. So in that way, if anybody is against you, because you have the favor of God, these enemies which is against you would be God enemies also because God loves you. Amen. Mm -hmm. So let's continue to trust in, in the Lord. Let's continue to spread the good news. Today is so easy to, pray, to, to spread the good news. You can have camera, you have Facebook, Twitter. So let's do our best. What God has put in our hand, let's use it. 
to spread the news to millions of people Amen. around the world. Oh. We don't have time to wait. <coughs> Every day is a new day. Don't say, today I'm working, tomorrow I will do it. Tomorrow may never come. You don't know. Maybe tomorrow God take us like he took Enoch. God loves us so much, he wants us to be with him. How do you know that? So the moment that God gives us today, use it for the glory of God. Hallelujah. Just do it. Just do what you can. Whether you are tired, just say, God, give me the grace. Give me the courage to do that. And God will bless you in your place of work, in your relationship, everything. If you do the, if you, if you do the work of God, believe me, God will never leave you without blessing you do one thing for god he do thousand things for you Amen. for your family for your everything trust in god in everything that you do amen? amen and then i would like to go to one king three verse five this is a wonderful a uh, verse that I love so much. It says, that night when Solomon was sleeping, Amen, uh, God appeared to him in a dream and he tell him, uh, what do you want? Ox and I will give it to you. Ox and I will give it to you. God is asking you today, what do you want? Ox and I will give you. Amen. But you have to go and repent to God. Amen. Sometimes when you hate, we don't forgive, we miss on the blessing of God. Sometimes it's very difficult to forgive. I myself. Sometimes I have to cry to God. God, I can't forgive that person. This, this, this. But God said you have to forgive so that I'm able to give you the blessing. He's telling you for your own good. Amen. Amen. It hurts sometimes to forgive, but you have to do it because God wants to bless you in your work or place, in your relationship, in whatever. He wants to give you the best car ever. He wants to give you the best house ever. He wants to give you the best ministry, music ministry ever. He wants to give you the best wife, the best husband ever. But the thing is, you have to go in his command. And God said, if you put the kingdom of God first, all this will follow you. If you go to Solomon, when God tell him, Solomon, tell me, what do you want? He said, God, give me so much wisdom that I will be able to, to do the right thing, to know the right and the wrong. God says, you know what? You have... I will give you wisdom more than anybody in this earth. Even the future generation won't have that much wisdom as you have. But at the same time, I'm going to give you wealth. I'm going to give you everything, though you did not ask me. That's what God says. You ask for the kingdom first. Go and do the work of God. Put God first. Think of God. Sing His song every time. And you know God, before, if you put his kingdom first, him and his kingdom, everything will follow in mm -hmm. Jesus' name. Amen. So continue to pray, continue to do the work of God. Never abandon the work of God. Sometimes it's very difficult. We may be going through our own life, our own relationship. We don't have the courage. But surround yourself with brother and sister. It's so important. I never realized that brother and sister was so important, but they are. Even though you are the most prayerful man and woman on earth, but you need your brother and sister around you. Because God will use them to tell you his word. God will use them to help you in a way. So always love each other. You know love is so important. <coughs> okay? Me, when I... I, I didn't know how to love, <laughs> okay? I didn't know how to approach people. I didn't know how to be good to people. The, you know, there are so many things that happen in life. But if you tell the Holy Spirit to help you, you know, sometimes I would come and meet people and I say, God, I don't want to be with these people. Why do you put me here? Sorry, I'm telling my sin. <laughs> but you know, God tells 
God has put so much. I prayed about it. I said, God, I know I can't do it for, by myself. You put love in my heart. If you have told me I have to be among these people, among the work, what I'm doing, you put love in my heart. You know, the next day I went to work, I felt so good. I smiled with people and you don't know where it comes from. So God say, ask and it shall be given to you. Amen. Ask for forgiveness, ask for love, ask for joy, ask for car, ask for everything that you want. Mm -hmm. And God will give it to you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Nothing is impossible for God. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Amen. Sometimes we might say something bad. Maybe we are working hard for God. We are trying to change ourselves and we get so tired, you know. And then we hear people talking bad about us. Or even there's a miscommunication. We think people is talking bad about us. But you know, before you get angry, always go to your brother and sister. Tell him, this is what is happening. I'm feeling bad about it. Sometimes, you know, you just vent your anger and you lose your blessing. You know, I know it's not easy. I've been going through it, but I've been praying about it. God give us wisdom. You know, God remove our anger. Amen. God give us love for our brother and sister. It's not easy to do the work of God with your own self. But if you ask the Holy Spirit, He will guide you. He will give you the wisdom, the love. Love that you have never felt for other people. You know, love that you, you didn't know. What is love? Unless the Holy Spirit teach you. You know, sometimes people might be very bad to you, but if you have love in your heart, you will just think, just smile with them. You know, it happened to me so much until I realized it was my prayer to God. God, give me love for these people, you know. So pray and tell God to give you love, to give you, if you do the work of God, do what God wants you to do all the blessing will come amen, amen. and you know sometime in our job for example yesterday we went for bowling so then i got one friend who was legend of the month so then my director was telling him you know what you have a saffron voucher you are going to go something about a cruise i'm not sure so i tell to my director when will i get a saffron jokingly right he said you have to be a legend of the month for that but then, you know, I tell him one thing, you know what, I'm a legend in heaven. <laughs> so, you know, even if people don't recognize you here, but God in the heaven, God is writing whatever you're doing every day. It's for your eternal life. Whatever is on earth, it's not really that important. It's important in a way, but the most important is when you are going to leave this body. Where are you going to go? In heaven or there's another place to go? This every, everybody knows that. The most important is that when we leave this earth, we know that we are going to meet our Jesus. We are going to be happy forever and ever in heaven. In heaven there is joy, there is peace, all our friends will be there. Even Jesus will be dancing with us. We enter his gate with singing. He will dance with us, he will sing with us, he will do everything with us. And we will eat the bread, of the bread. we will drink wine. See, he says he will not touch bread until we come to him that day when there is rapture, right? So he's still waiting for us. The table is already prepared for us. So let us not be weary in doing the word of God, the work of God. Let us every day do something new. Learn something new to add, you know, to the glory of God. We have so much, so much to do. Music, book, just filming, and just, you know, something that you can add to the glory. Share it to people. Even if people don't understand you, don't worry. You have done your job. You have told them about Jesus. That's the best thing you can ever do for God. When you sleep, even if you don't work tomorrow, you wake up tomorrow, you just say, God, I have done what I have to do. But you know, with God, God says, if you do my work, he's going to add your days. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So the more you do for the work of God, believe me, you're going to live longer. Mm. <laughs> it's going to add to your life. Your generation would be blessed. Your family would be blessed. He would restore what the locust has eaten. All the years that the locust has eaten in your life. So trust in Jesus. He is the way, the life, and the truth. Amen. Without Him, there is nothing. He is the one, the reason that we are alive. Because of Him today, we can wake up and say, God, guide me to where you want me. If we wake up, that means there's still our mission is still incomplete. The day our mission is complete, God will say, I'm taking you. Put your house in order, I'm taking you, like he did in the Bible. So let's do the work of God, and God will bless us in our marriage, in anything that we are hoping. Amen. I know sometimes we have a lot of things in our heart that we want God to do in our life. But for God, Jesus says, take your cross every day and follow me. Amen. If you take your cross, God will give you better, beyond what you ask. You know, think that you can't imagine, it will happen on earth. Amen. Amen. Let's Amen. continue to trust in the work of God. Amen. 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 Um, what I want also to say is God loves us a lot, you know. Imagine you have a son and you have to give it to God like a brown. It's not that easy. You will tell God, God, sorry God, are you crazy? You just gave it to me. You will tell God all sort of words coming from your mouth. You know how human is. But God say, I love my children. I created them. They are mine. They are mine. Imagine somebody telling you, you are mine. You know how deep it is. So God loves us so much. He said, even I will give my son for you. How, imagine how great is that love. He will give his son. You know what? When God, when they were crucifying God, God was there all the time. We were looking only at Jesus dying. We were looking only at Jesus dying. But God was in heaven looking down all the time. Amen. He was suffering. We are looking at Jesus. We are crying when we watch a movie. But the Father was there at that time. He was looking at his son being beaten right now, spitting on him, breaking his bone, removing his rib, piercing his hand. God was there all the time. You know, God was even crying at that time in heaven. We just don't realize because we are looking at Jesus. But if you see, if we look at the picture, God in heaven was crying all the time. Maybe the angels also was crying. Until God could not see his son dying. You know, he lived, he went away. Maybe he was on his throne, he just wake up, he turned, and he was, he go to another place where he was crying more. Amen. So, Imagine what kind of father is this. Though we can't see him, we feel him. We feel his love. Sometimes I'm in my room, I can feel people around me. That's the angels. You can feel the warmth. You can feel, it's, it's, it's a feeling, you know, though you can't see, but you know it's here. I remember the second time I have preached in that fellowship, I was in charity room. I was praying, you know, I, God, I don't know if I will be able to preach. I don't know what to do. I was just holding my hand like this. And I was going down, but something was pulling my hand up, my two hands up. You know, I was like, I know it's God. God can touch you physically. You can feel God hugging you. I have this experience to tell you, if you trust in God, nothing is impossible. He's alive. He's alive. He's looking at you all the time. He knows every details of your life. He knows your step. You know, when you know Jesus, do not abandon him. I know what I'm saying. I have prayed whatever, whatever I wanted to pray. I was in Hindu family. But Jesus is the true God. Hallelujah. There Amen. is none like him. He will always be here. Always. And God is always 
smiling at you, whatever you do. Even if you commit a mistake, he knows you will do it. But he says, come, I'm still looking for you. I'm still waiting for you. Every day I wake up. God don't wake up, I wake up. But God is watching us sleeping. He knows when we will sleep. He knows the number of hair we have. I was reading Psalm. And it says, only when he spoke and the heaven was made, the star was flung in the sky. So imagine how powerful that God is. Nothing is impossible. Put the trust in him. Believe. One day take your Bible. Just say, God, cover me with your cloud. Today I want to be only in your presence. Read everything in that Bible. Read everything. For me, I use a simpler English because I want to know truly what God wants me to know. So I, I read it and you know you feel so good. I read the word and it says in Moses, in Moses there is a verse where Moses went on the mountain. Amen. Mm -hmm. And then from there they saw the Lord. They saw, the, they saw God. But God did not do anything to them. Instead, they eat a meal of covenant with God. So tell God, I want to see you face by face. I need you. I love you. I want to know you more. I want to know what kind of God you are. I know you exist. I know you are here. One day, I was taking my Bible. I went to Park, Greek Park. And I said, God, today I'm going to read my Bible. And I said, God, if you are here, let me know you are here. At that time, within two seconds, a big wind came. A wind, it blows. All the big trees that was in that park fell down. And then I told to that guy, what is it? He told me, you know, I've been working there 25 years. Nothing like that has ever happened. I even has the picture. And you know in Greek park you have the big trunk like this. The root, everything was, has fallen down. And only the tree that I was standing, nothing happened. And I knew that day that God was there. Whatever mm -hmm. I do, whatever I ask, He is here listening to you. Amen. You know, God is so faithful. Amen. Amen. So I'm going to close in that word, you know, and I want to thank you for coming. Continue to praise the Lord, to believe in God, and God will bring you to the next level and more than that. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Let's do it.